Hello again folks, hope you're all keeping well. Um, I have a new little product to show you. Um, I teased it last week in a little YouTube short. Um, this is the Radtus R103 uh, and a little key ring Geiger counter. And I have used it now for about, I think it's about two weeks now I've used it. It took about, let me see, I think about 14 days or so to get to me from Russia. Um, now, when I bought it, um, I paid for it via PayPal. It was $86, um, which I think for this device is actually a very good price. Um, that's including shipping. Now, Russia have now been blocked from getting PayPal payments. So I do not know how you buy this device now. Now, I'm gonna show you the sort of website. Um, there'll be a little overlay on the screen now of it. Um, where I got it from and I'll, I'll put it in the comments as well if you do want to try and order one uh, you can go ahead and do that uh, but as I said I've been using it now for about two weeks and very very impressed with it it is a very simple device to use it is very simple logging software uh, you can change all the settings on it and it has an alarm feature as well which is nice uh, it's charged via USB and uh, a full charge will last you around about a year, which, you know, it's pretty fantastic for a device like that to sit on a full charge and last for a year, which is fantastic. Now, what I'll do is, um, because it's so small, I'll, um, I'll move the camera and I'll bring it down to the close-up camera and uh, you can get a better look at it. So yeah, quick jump cut. Okay, that's a bit closer. Right, um, it comes in a pretty straightforward box. Um, you get a little, Sort of key ring keychain on it. I did not use that. I went for this sort of lanyard style one. And to turn it on, you press this button and then you press this button. And then after about, I think it's about six, seven seconds, the device is on. So that is the device sort of running through its self check. And then once it's ready, bang, it's on. So that is it now on. You hear a little beep there. That's the device switched on and it has an SBM21 Geiger motor tube in it and you can just, I don't know if you can possibly just see it, let me bring it closer and I'll, you can just see the Geiger motor tube through that hole there and it is reasonably sensitive. Um, I've been very impressed with how sensitive it is and um, I will open it up for you in a minute and let you see inside it but a really nice little unit and I wanted to give it a really good test not just sort of take it out of its box show it to you and uh, and then give you my thoughts I wanted to make sure I used it for a while and uh, and actually was able to sort of form an opinion on it um, I really really like this it's nice and sensitive um, obviously it'll do beta gamma and x-ray and yeah it's I think just for carrying around in your pocket just for peace of mind this fits the bill um, obviously as well if you want to go and do a bit of um, antique shopping uh, this will also work for that as well now obviously I have quite a few little keyring meters obviously the the direct comparison to it is the very one you can see a very very similar size this is probably slightly thinner but very very similar form factor and both contain SBM 21s so I had said when I was doing the review of these um, that this was sort of the, the modern version of, uh, of this Beery one. Obviously this, this is an old Beery one. This just has a new sticker on it. So this is a more modernized. This is the modern Beery one. So this is taken over from the Beery one. So why spend, if you're after a key ring meter, why spend, uh, you know, a hundred pounds, 200 pounds, 400 pounds as I've seen these goes for on eBay. Why spend that sort of money when you can buy one of these uh, for, you know, $86, which I think is, when you see inside, you'll, uh, you'll see what I mean about how well made it is. Um, obviously I have reviewed this before, um, the micro bomb detector. This is absolutely rubbish. Uh, it's just, it's terrible. There's no visual indicator. There's this here, which sort of lets you know when the unit's sort of being turned on or whatever. Other than that, I don't know if this unit's faulty or it's just, it is not a good unit. There are lots of little devices like this um, available over in America. 
I think there's the Nuke Alert. There's, you know, there's a few different ones and they're, you know, I think why spend $200, $150, one of those, um, when you can get yourself one of these, which, um, yeah, the, they, you know, the fact that the guy that makes these just does them to order. So if you order one, he builds it to order for you. It takes a couple of days and um, he's very, very prompt at getting the stuff shipped out to you. Hopefully, there is a resolution soon to everything that's going on in the world and uh, these can start getting posted out again. You know, I'm not going to comment too much on everything and uh, I just hope that, you know, this unit uh, does continue to be made and continues to be made available to people. Now, there is a couple of features on it. Um, the way I have it at the moment is every time it detects radiation, and I will show you, now it does count, it's, it's, it is a proper Geiger counter, it does count, does counts per second. So you can see there, it is, uh, it is reasonably sensitive. You know, it's almost, it's pretty much exactly the same as the Berry one. Just a more modern version, microprocessor controlled. And it's giving you all the visual warnings and audible warnings as well. So you can change all of these. Um, if you find it's too sensitive, you can increase everything. Okay, so the mode I have it on at the moment is that every time it detects radiation, there will be a, a beep or a click and there'll be a little flash on the LED. Uh, you can change that by just pressing this button. Now, there only are two buttons in the entire unit. You only ever use this button to turn it on and you only ever use this button to turn it off. So if I press the button one more time, so what will happen now is every time it detects radiation, it will make noise, but there'll be no LED. So I will show you that now. So we're saving battery life there just a little bit by doing that. Okay, next version. There's now no sound, but we've got a flashing LED. Okay, now the next two versions are the alarms. So we're now into the alarm mode. So all we have now is see the way we have both flashing and an audible alert. So that is alarm version one. So the next version is alarm two. And in alarm two, that this is the least amount of power. So in this mode, the unit will last a year, possibly more, if it's not, if the alarm isn't going off. So if it's just sitting, or sitting in your pocket, if you set the alarm threshold to a certain point and it hits that alarm and exceeds that alarm threshold, then you will just get an audible warning. There you go. And if you have that in your pocket, you will definitely hear that. So that's that mode. And then one more button press. That's it back into the original mode that I was showing you earlier on. And we're back into that mode. And then if you want to turn the device off, you press this button, you press this button, and that's it off. There's the device off. So I will get the screwdrivers out. We'll get the screw out. And uh, I'll let you have a little look inside. So yeah, very quick jump cut. Right, very, very easy to open. Just one screw. And just undo that slowly. I'll put that top in the berry one so I can find it again. Now, I obviously have this attached together with this, so I'll just open it very, very slowly. There's the back off. And there's the little board inside. And I might just pull it out here. There's your two plastic buttons in there and turn it around. So there's your little SBM 21 tube just there. There's your two buttons. There's your LED. Here's your USB charger there and to connect it to your laptop. And there's your rechargeable battery. 3.7 volt, 170 milliamp hour. Just look at that there. Absolutely lovely little design, lovely little printed circuit board. You know, 
the soldering on that is very very neat very impressively put together but we'll put that back inside so it just drops in you can see it very 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 quickly it is to take apart and i actually managed to brick my device believe it or not um i had not read the instructions you know being a, a typical man i did not read the instructions and i uh, connected it up to my laptop with the unit switched off and i tried to change settings and in the process of changing settings, I then turned the device on and it just totally froze on me. Uh, it wouldn't turn off, wouldn't turn on, just went crazy. Uh, very quick email to the developer. He came back to me and I had to touch two contacts and the device auto reset and bang, it was working again. Uh, yet, you know, little things like that there, just when the developer gets back to you straight away, on things like that there is absolutely fantastic. I mean, if I if I damage my Bury 1, <laughs> uh, who would I go to? Uh, but yeah, no, Sergey was brilliant. And he immediately uh, told me, yes, I know exactly what you've done. And uh, yeah, here's the fix. So what I'll do now is I'll turn the device back on um, and move back to the bigger camera. And I will put on the, um, or I'll turn on the little sort of the application for logging and I'll connect it up to the laptop and I'll show you how that works. So yeah, another very quick jump cut. Okay, so I have the unit connected up here. You can see uh, the little red light on here. That's just to let you know that the unit is charging and that it's also connected to the computer. So I've got the app here. And just rescan the ports just to make sure it finds it. There it is on column three, and there it is counting. So if I get the little Strontium 90 source again, There it is counting away. So very, very simple logging software, but it works. And really that's all you can ask for, that it works. And uh, yeah, that works well. Quite like that. Um, don't think I'll be using that very much, um, but I will be using the features over here. Now, you can see here at the moment, the way I have it set up, I have the little blue LED to come on if it detects, you know, two counts per second. I have the red alert to come on if it detects 10 counts to set per second. And then I have the alarm set at 11. So obviously the red alert's at 10. The alarm has to be higher than the red alert. You can't put the, the alarm lower than the red alert. So if I want to change this, for instance, so if the red alert's on 10, if I want to change the alarm to 12, I just type 12. And then I hit set parameter. And you can see here then it connects to the device and it's now changed and the unit then resets. And it's done. So now that is now set that the alarm will go off over 12 counts per second. And then if I want to set it back again to 11, I hit 11, I hit set parameter, it connects to the device again, resets back to 11, the device resets and we're back again to an alarm level of 11. Really, really simple. And that's what I love about this, this device. There's no little display. It's all beeps and, you know, LEDs. But at the end of the day, you've set the parameters yourself. So you know what the parameters are in this. Uh, so that's what's nice about it. There's a lot, of, you know, you can, you can change the battery if you ever really need to. You can solder a new battery on. Um, but yeah, really, really nice little device and uh, I will get all this packed away and uh, another jump cut and I'll come back with uh, my final thoughts. Yeah, so final thoughts on this. Um, I'm really glad I bought one of these. Um, I'm a member of a forum on Facebook and uh, one of the members, uh, when I had said about, about getting the Beery One, had mentioned that uh, you know he had this rad test device and uh, you know it's just you know so much better than this and i was like never, never heard of this rad test before so i i found the website emailed the seller and uh, yeah as i said it was about i think it was a roughly about i think it was between 10 and uh, i think 12 days it took to arrive it was, it was pretty quick 
and uh, you know the postage was not expensive but for 86 dollars uh, you cannot go wrong um, I would not have bought this if I had known this device existed um, I've always wanted a normal beery one so I would have bought that one but I would have never have bought this one um, if I had known that this existed beforehand if you're looking for a relatively inexpensive Geiger counter which you can carry around in your pocket which has user set parameters uh, this is the device for you um, I am really really impressed with this and um, yeah I think I might be selling this um, I really do not need this so if anybody is after a Beery one um, I am not going to sell it for the price I paid for it uh, you will get the carry case and everything but yeah I'm probably if anyone's interested I will list it on eBay and I will not charge the same price that I paid for it um, yeah really 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 like this item and when you compare it to modern units such as this this is what you want but listen folks as always thank you very very much for watching and uh, i'll see you all again next time bye bye